we have some um, maintenance uh, work to do for this Miltoniopsis orchid because uh, she has an infection and it is the first time that I ever see uh, an infection like this on any type of orchid and also she has another very peculiar thing happening so I will put the camera down now and actually show you what I am talking about so here in the back she has this uh, suit bulb and uh, I guess you can see that here is all brown and um, when I have purchased it uh, this leaf was attached and uh, it had uh, this band so uh, this part of the leaf was dried and this was green and I have thought that uh, it is not an infection but just uh, the leaf got dried but it uh, wasn't like that and today I have observed that the leaf was still attached here but the infection progresses uh, down and into the suitable so uh, we need to intervene and I will actually need to open the bottle with alcohol and we want to sterilize the cutting tool so here I have a little knife which I use only for orchids so I put it in alcohol and now I will flame it this is actually what kills the most uh, pathogens so I guess this would be enough and what you want to do it is to try to cut into healthy tissue so here we have the brown section here it is here is a uh, discolored section and only uh, about here it is the true uh, healthy section so and also when you are cutting you might uh, actually discover uh, more inside so this is what I have done and you can see that the section is uh, healthy on this side so this is what we want to cut into healthy tissue now here it is just residue from my knife because uh, when you flame it uh, it uh, is getting uh, a bit burned so uh, that is that now what you want to do it is um, I will spray a strong solution with Fison 20 and I have put 5 milliliters of um, of uh, Faisan to um, 3.5 liters of um, water so I will spray this very very well on the cutting wound and uh, actually I will spray the leaves too but I will do that outside because this uh, solution smells uh, quite bad and now we are not finished uh, you only uh, you always want to make sure you throw up um, orchid residues, leaves, flowers that are spent, all sorts of things in the trash, and you actually seal it very very well. You close the bag because uh, if you leave uh, all sorts of residues like this on the floor of your uh, growing space, uh, the pathogens get actually spread uh, in the air, so you don't want that. And now to better seal the wound I will use some cinnamon. So I will take a bit with a q-tip and very very gently I will try to limit the off spread by placing my fingers in there and I will rub it onto the suitable. This uh, is a very good drying agent. You don't need to put a lot only a bit and uh, in a few days uh, the wound will be completely dried and uh, properly sealed uh, we want to make sure that the infection doesn't spread any further so this is why uh, I wanted to remove only the top part of the suitable this is a small orchid so I don't think I should uh, remove the whole suitable or uh, any um, energy that is stored uh, the orchid will need it uh, and even more because this is a Miltoniopsis it is not a super healthy Miltoniopsis but uh, she is uh, in let's say pretty good condition uh, she gets hydrated to her roots but I see a lot of dead roots on the surface so uh, yeah and I didn't uh, yet uh, noticed any snails on it so um, I am not uh, in a hurry to report it. At first I thought she is producing a new growth 
but she was actually producing a third spike and this is the first time I am seeing that uh, a Miltoniopsis is actually capable of growing uh, many spikes at a time. I only knew that she has uh, two growing points for um, new spikes and that is a complete novelty for me. But uh, this might be actually a response to the stress that she is uh, suffering from because uh, she was uh, having that infection and also this spike let me show you mm -hmm. like here she had more buds but they uh, completely blasted when they are they were quite big so um, she is uh, truly having an infection and on uh, the spike that uh, the buds uh, came off from she also has this infection of the stem so I will just cut it off and um, yeah the rest of the blooms perform uh, pretty normally but uh, this uh, one not and uh, I'm quite happy she's producing a new spike and she won't uh, get repotted until she will actually grow a new growth uh, so when the growth uh, is about 10 centimeters in height I will proceed and repot the orchid because uh, that is the moment when usually Miltoniopsis produces uh, new roots and uh, we want to minimize any chance uh, of um, stressing the orchid more. Now the orchid seems quite uh, snug in the pot, she is stable so she has some roots, not a lot of them, I have uh, seen uh, a growing root tip so uh, she is uh, okayish let's say. Uh, but if I would uh, be, if I would want to report her right now, uh, all these uh, roots that are still alive in this pot but uh, are not uh, super healthy, but they perform to hydrate the orchid enough, uh, would die. And um, I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, so that is why I'm waiting for a new growth with new roots that will adapt to a brand new medium. So alright guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!